السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو این ایرر دیٹ ہیز بین میڈ ان دس بیم بائی دا رینفورسمنٹ ورکرز ہیئر یو کین سی دیٹ دس بار وچ از دا مین ٹاپ بار از گوئنگ آؤٹ آف دا کالم اوکے دس از رانگ اینڈ دس از ٹوٹلی ناٹ الاؤڈ ان اینی بیم because if you have to use beams you will have to uh, use is because all the beams reinforcement shall be embedded in the columns on which it is supported and if that is not so the whole load is not going to be transferred to this beam okay like the load transferred by this beam from here to that column and from that side to this column is not going to be totally transferred to this beam okay so this was a, 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 a mistake that has been made by the reinforcement workers now how have we solved this mistake and and how can you resolve the issue if you have found any like this on your side so the solution is we have transferred the concept of rectangular beam from here to the concept of t beam here you can see that we have used this bar and this bar you can see that this bar is out of the uh, periphery of this rectangular beam so this beam has been used just to increase the effective width of this beam here you can see that this is this bar and this bar is outside the periphery of the rectangular beam so this is what we call the t beam and you being an engineer you would have heard of the concept of t beam actually all the rectangular beams uh where the continuous slab has been provided on all the sides just work as a t beam but here we have even used the steel in the concept of uh, sorry in this rectangular beam so that it may get converted to the t beam concept so this is a solution that you can apply whenever you have the issue of this uh, and normally in our periphery beam we face this issue because at periphery the beams just gets out by some millimeters and if, if and, and if these beams gets out of its alignment in millimeters it even uh, you will even face this issue so just this is an easy uh, you will you will be needing some extra bars just use two extra bars on both sides of the beam so that it may get converted from rectangular beam to t beam and that is how your problem will be solved so thank you very much I sh i'm sure that you would have you would have got the idea of t beam and you would have just noted this problem uh, and if you have any question in your minds you can ask that in comments thank you very much